Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another tool review. So in our previous videos, we reviewed the Ego mower and the Ego hedge trimmers. This week we are reviewing the Ego weed eater or string trimmer. I've always called it a weed eater. Some people call them string trimmers, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, some people might even call it an edger. It, or line trimmer, I guess that's another name for it. Uh, but that's what we're reviewing today. Whatever you call it, that's what we're reviewing. And this one's, of course, by Ego. It's really super lightweight. And uh, it's, the center of balance is probably a little bit south of the hinge point right now, but there's also no battery on here. Just like all the e other Ego tools, you can put whatever size battery you want on there. This is a 2.5 amp hour. You can also put the five amp hour. You can, if you really want to, you can put the 7.5 amp hour on here. So it locks into place. And now the center of balance is more towards the handle. I think it's, just, it's right about there. So now it's nice and balanced. I can grab a hold of it here. And it's got two switches. You hold, you hold this down with your palm and then you grab a hold of it and kick it on like that. Um, this might be a few years old. I think there's more, a little bit more powerful units out since then. I think there might even be lighter units with like titanium shafts or something. I'm not positive. I don't remember. But this unit is not their earliest. This has a quick load head on it, which is something that I was lacking on the first Ego string trimmer. If you don't know what that is, you just take like a, uh, you took a, a long piece of string and what I usually do is I put it underneath my foot and I pull both ends up to the top of my head and I cut it there. I'm 5'10-ish, so uh, you, can foot, you can fit about 12 feet of string in there. So that works perfect, it's quick and easy. I just put my foot on there, run it up, cut it, and then you run it through the hole. So you can see there's two strings. So when you run it through, the, when you line it up, it'll be one single pass through. So you just pass it all the way through you kind of center it, and then you just twist this in order to load it, and it just sucks all the string in there, and you feed it out as you're going. It is absolutely amazing. I definitely re recommend this type of loading head rather than having to unscrew it and fumble with that whole spool and having to wind it up. It's awful. This is amazing. So when you're using the string trimmer, whether it's the Ego or any, or a gas powered or whatever, you need to make sure that you are wearing safety glasses or you get, some people you do a whole face shield, which is even better. I'll be within the first year of buying my house when I was cutting some of the grass or weeds in the backyard, because this is before I put it in a sprinkler system and grew grass. Uh, I actually had a rock hit me square in my left retina and it was definitely not fun. It scratched it. Uh, I didn't lose any eyesight from it, but it definitely scratched it and it was definitely uncomfortable for several days. And I, it was stupid because I had safety glasses. They were provided me from my job. So I had them with me. I had them in, the, in my truck or in the garage. So it was stupid not to use them. So I definitely advise using safety glasses. Some of you might comment about the fact that I'm wearing shorts while using the string trimmer. That's my choice, 
Most of the time I'm cutting in a way that it's directing debris away from me. But from time to time, yes, something does hit my leg. Yes, it does sting. So before I used the Ego String Trimmer, I actually used this one from Ryobi. I do still have it in case something goes wrong with that one. I have this one as a backup. This one is corded, and then I'd have to have a 100 foot extension cord that I'd have to drag around with me. The way that I cut, it wasn't that big a deal. It usually didn't get in my way. With the Ryobi, the motor's towards the back, and with the Ego, the motor is on the head. It's just not as portable having to drag that cord around. So with the string trimmer, I do also, just like all my other stuff, I do wear ear protection. It's got a really high pitched whine to it because of the strings flying through the air. And for me, I need to hopefully prevent my hearing from getting any worse. And when I say worse, I have tinnitus, which if you don't know what that is, it's a, a ringing in the ears and it's constant. So sometimes it's even so loud that it'll keep me awake at night. So I don't want to make it worse. So I always use ear protection whenever I'm doing uh, various projects or if I'm going to do something loud, I pop them in real quick. For you, it may not even bother you. A lot of people, I'm sure it doesn't. But it definitely doesn't have the noise of a gas string trimmer. So other than the issue with Ego's batteries not lasting as long as they say they do, I absolutely love Ego tools, including this string trimmer. I know they've made, they might have even made more improvements since then. Um, this trigger is variable speed, so the more you squeeze it, the faster it'll go. And I think the new ones go possibly go faster and have more power than even this one does. Sometimes in thick grass, I will have to crank that up pretty high in order to cut through it. And St. Augustine can get pretty thick, but I've never had an issue with it. So I do like it, I do recommend it, and someday I hope that something happens with the Ego batteries to where maybe a company does it or maybe Ego does it, because my biggest complaint, and this is with electric cars, hybrids, electric tools and stuff like that, we're trying to go green for the environment but the batteries are not recyclable and they get thrown away and lithium is really toxic and the lithium mines tear up the environment. So that's what I have an issue with. I'm tired of them spending all this money on self-driving cars when they need to be spending that money on better battery technology. Then you can worry about the self-driving cars. How about we focus on better, better battery technology, something that's recyclable. So I do wish that Ego would allow us to send them to them so that they can rebuild them. Maybe a cell went bad. I've seen some old YouTube videos where people have done that and I wish that that was an option for these batteries. Sorry, I digress. Uh, that was my little rant. But uh, other than that, I do like it. I do recommend it. And it beats having to fumble and fight with gas powered equipment or having to go and pick up gas from the gas station. I guess I will catch you on the next one. See ya.